Hello. So my cat is helping me because <laughs> my efforts to get the kitty to move have failed. So I am going to do the unboxing first. Yes, these are scissors. Yes, scissors. Not as yummy as brushes. Sweetie, sweetie. Nope, you want to keep paws away from the scissors. Sweetie. Hey, 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 hey. So let's see if we can get this done while the cat is distracted. I'm clearly opening this from the back just for privacy reasons. There we go. So it's pretty well packed. We've got some bubble wrap on the side and then the box. Alright, so it comes with five rolls of thermal paper. And the unit, you would think that they'd have it showing the cute side out so that you're all excited when you get it instead of getting just a plain white box and a couple rolls of paper. Someone in their marketing department should switch things up a little bit. Alright, so the five rolls of thermal paper are in their own separate little plastic envelope. So you should keep that and then you seal that and stick that in a drawer so you have the extra tape ready when you want it. Here we go, portable mini printer. And again, you would think that they would have the cute stuff emphasized, but I guess we will see. So inside it, we got a little cable. That's the USB-C. Oh no, no, it is actually a B. It's the kind with the flat part on one side and the regular USB on the other. Oh wait, now we got both cats. Both cats are trying to come stick their little catty faces in. All right, and that's all that's in the box. It's the printer, the little manual, and the cable. Nope, nope. No eating the plastic. Here we go. So this is, you know, the cute part. You would think that they'd put a picture of that on the front of the box instead of having this generic picture. And then you'd think that they'd have that part facing out. So when you bought it, you immediately saw this super cute thing. Because this is undoubtedly the whole reason that I bought it. Is because it is just so, so cute. And, you know, it's a little printer that'll be really useful for all my art projects. So it's got the USB, you can see there, uh, spot there. It doesn't come with the wall wart part, so you have to have your own item that you can plug the USB entry into. Let me plug this in. Which side is the bottom side? There we go. All right, I can read the manual. That would be helpful. All right, so it says you have to charge it before first use, and then use the um, the icon to be able to the QR code to be able to download the app. But I've heard from a number of people that you don't want to use this one; that you want to use one that they give you on the Amazon page. So I will have to take a look into that. In terms of putting the paper in, it looks like this cover just lifts up. But it didn't seem to. There it goes. Oh, and it comes with paper in it already. So those are all spare rolls over there. It already comes with the paper preloaded. 
All right, so I am now going to research which app works with this now, if it's not necessarily the one that comes listed on the manual, and then I will append a video to this. But in terms of what comes with it, you get the unit, a cable, but without the other end, if you want to plug that into a wall, which I'll do right now, there's a roll that comes in it. You get five additional rolls and the little manual, which really just says to open it up to be able to put the paper into it, to charge it by plugging that into something that will give a charge and to download this app. But again, I'm going to research and see if that's really the app you want to download or if you want to search for an app by name. So I will be back in a moment to give you that information. Okay, so I charged it for about two hours before it finished charging. It shows a red light on it while it is charging and then it just, the red light turns off. It doesn't turn green or anything. In the meantime, I tried downloading the QR code for the app from the manual. This goes to a generic URL link, not to an actual store or anything like that. And that sends you to a website that's in Chinese with a general link. And this created all sorts of security errors. So on the Amazon page, it says not to use that app. It says to go to your regular store and look for fun print app. This is what the fun print app looks like. And once you install it, it just says to sign in, but you don't actually need any sign in information. You just click it and then you are in their application. All right, I think it is fully charged. It didn't turn green, but it was no longer red. So I'm going to press and hold this for three seconds. All right, that appears to be a sign of life. It is blinking blue. So now I'm going to go into my Bluetooth setting and do the connect, or not into the Bluetooth setting, but go into the app. And in the app, there's a connect button, and I will try that. All right, so the app is very simple. If you've got Bluetooth enabled, it pretty much finds it and connects to it. The app lets you make banners and graphic things and import images. It has a whole ton of built-in banners in different categories for you, and it has a ton of built-in images for you so you can make things to color. I'll show you a sample with my phone and then a sample using my boyfriend's. Hello. So I went into the software and I chose a fish and hit the print button and it printed right out. So that is pretty clear. And again, there is no ink at all involved in this. It's just in essence heating up the paper. So it's burning the image into the paper. So you never run out of ink. The paper is thermal paper. Some types of thermal paper do fade after a couple of years. So we'll have to do some tests and see how long this takes before it fades. But the reports are that it seems to last quite a while. I'm going to try to go into the app now while the recording is running and see if I can print something else, but we'll see how this works. All right, so we have to have two phones involved for me to record this and to be able to use the app to show you what it's doing. All right, so in the app, we've got different categories like labels, with different kinds of labely kinds of things, and then material with lots of different kinds of animals or shapes or other things. So if we choose an animal, let's choose this funny fish. All right, then all we have to do is say print. And I'll say, is this your, what you want to do? I say, yep, I want to print that. And it instantly starts sending it out. Katie, okay, you're blocking the view. <laughs> All right, and then there's little jagged teeth on there, so you just rip it free. Right there. And now you've got an instantly printed little fish. So, and you can import stuff into here, but they've got a huge library of animals that you could use for scrapbooking or art projects. You can make all sorts of different kinds of uh, little signs, and then you could import your own text or so on. So you can have it print out pretty much anything you want. And that is portable. This is currently not plugged into anything. I charged it up earlier. And that is how it works. So let me know if you have any questions at all about this.